So, uh, this is the, uh, the top level uh, uh, component, right? That it's going to load everything else, right? Um, uh, and uh, right now it's being implemented as a simple function, right? And, and what uh, React does is that to calculate, you know, to replace this with actual content, right? It will call this function, and whatever that function returns, that's what's going to render. Right? So, a couple of things to, to note here. Uh, notice that if Notice that we are somewhat um, uh, mixing and matching JavaScript and HTML, right? Typically, when we have JavaScript generating dynamic HTML, we, we either use libraries such as jQuery, right? Or we, you know, we, we use concatenation with strings concatenation, or we use the backticks, yes, you know, to dynamically generate HTML. Here, we don't have any of that. And that's brought to you by a technology called JSX, you know, JavaScript ex extent, uh, um, extension, right? That what it allows you to do is to seamlessly embed you know, HTML and JavaScript together, right? So without having to deal with all this you know, concatenation and whatnot, that you can seamlessly go back and forth between HTML and JavaScript, right? It also switches around the, 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 the thought process here, right? Typically, you think of JavaScript being embedded inside of HTML, right? We have the HTML, and then you have the script tags where you embed your JavaScript, yes? Or you link to some other JavaScript file, correct? Here, it, it switches it around and says, no, no, you're going to mostly be in JavaScript, right? And then you will dynamically generate HTML. So here we have HTML embedded inside of JavaScript. Make sense? So it, it switches the paradigm a little bit. Uh, the other thing here is that we're using the, uh, here, uh, by default, we're using the, the old style function declaration, right? Uh, so we're going to you know, sometimes use that uh, syntax, but for the most part, we're going to use the new syntax, right? You, the ES is uh, arrow syntax, where you declare a constant, equal, and then an arrow function, okay? And, and this should render identical to before. Everybody good? All right? Um, now, because now we're using the new syntax, we can use uh, some some shortcuts, right? Because there's uh, there's a uh, the only line of code of this function is to return something, right? Because we just have a blanket return right away, right? And and it's a, it's a single line. It really, it's it really this is just a single line of code, right? Just a oops, it's a single line of code. So we can replace this. We can replace this by we don't by uh, using instead of using an explicit return, we can use what it's called an implicit return. We don't need any of that, right? It's an implicit return, right? So this this syntax says this function automatically evaluates to the right hand side. Right? So wherever you call this function, that's the value I'm going to return right away. <coughs> Make sense, right? Uh, so this syntax now is very very terse. Right, so very, very much more uh, compact than what we might have uh, before, right? Okay, uh, and it, it allows you to pass arguments here in the functions, and we'll see that in a minute. But everybody is okay with the syntax, right? Every good? All right, awesome. Um, all right, so let's start creating uh, some of our, our of our first couple of components uh, from scratch. Right, so let's do that. 